Today you joined me in some random building on some random side road in Kilkenny but I thought it would make for a good place to establish the topic of today which is Round Towers. Of course this building isn't and doesn't have a round tower as you could probably tell in the establishing shots but I thought the privacy I'd be afforded here would be far greater than that of the actual round terrace that we're going to be visiting today. And here's the sketchbook. So, with that all being established, let's jump into today's video. Now, motorcycle me is going to drive up to the round towers while drawing person me is going to stay here and open the book at you and talk about things. After that video during the week, my microphone came to me later on that night and said it was quite offended by what I had said. So we had a good chat and I apologised to it and then now I've turned down the sensitivity on the microphone so it should be okay with this video. So the first round tower we're going to go is at Agaviller Church and this is a 12th century I believe round tower but apparently we don't know who made it. St. Brennan is a likely culprit, apparently. Culprit, I don't know if that's the right word you'd use for it. Architect, builder, saint. I actually came by here a couple of weeks ago and I was planning to make a video on just this site alone, but I realized it might be fun to take you around all the round towers in Kilkenny. It's quite an impressive site. It's similar to Kilfane Church in that you can actually go into the building itself and into the upper upcroft of the building and it's from there we're going to get a good vantage point at the round tower itself so you'll come to this awkward junction straight through is where we want to go but you have to take a right and then a left it's just a bit funky and you want to go left and here we are more dramatic person than I would say that stepping in here is like stepping into the 12th century but I won't say that. It may not look like much but these are the remains of a 12th century monastery and you can go inside. It's quite peaceful here and as you can see quite empty but behind me is a stairs and as you know I'll always go up the stairs if I can. Which, as you can see, I can. And if you can brave the stairs in your motorcycle gear, you're greeted to this plateau, which is the residential area of the monastery. And it's from here we're going to get a viewpoint on our first round tower. Here we have Agavilla Round Tower, and as you can see, nature reclaims the top half of the round tower but let me use my amazing artistic skills to recreate it as it would have been. Now, I was going to take the opportunity at this first round tower to introduce the idea of the doors being on the second floor rather than the first and talk about why that is, but unfortunately this particular example has a door on the ground floor, so let's just edit that out and cut over to me that's going to tell you the history of that. In between the 9th and the 12th centuries, Vikings loved to pillage and raid villages, and that's what they did over here. Now, the monasteries would be where all the real wealth was, because, well, we'll get into that in a different video. But, in these monasteries, the monks would hoard the gold inside the round tower, so that when the raiders came knocking, Father Watts-Face can go up the ladder, put it up behind him, and protect the gold and stay frosty until the Vikings leave. Now, I guess the Vikings could figure out how ladders work and put one up themselves, but presumably you just kick it down in a sort of comical fashion. But, apparently that's not the real reasons that monks would build the door on the second floor of a round tower. 
Our next stop is Kilri Round Tower, which is a bit more conventional and complete than the last one. And with no sign of the bull, I braved the 60 feet distance from the gate to the other gate. If the bull is around, I'm hoping that, much like car drivers, this L vest doesn't make me a target for his anger. Kill Re Church. Kill meaning church, Re meaning king, so Church of the King. Which king I've forgotten, but we're not here to talk about that. Well, the one and a half floor, but anyways, this is a much more conventional round tower and much more complete. It's just missing the cap. And as you can see, the door is not ground level. And the reason for that is not a defensive measure, technically, but it's a structural measure. So the way these are built, if you had this on the ground floor, that could be a structural weakness to the tower. So they built them on the second floor most of the time and use the ladder to get in. Could probably make it in there, couldn't I? There's a lot of bird poo in here, so uh, kind of nervous to stick my head in. Now, if I had brought my camera, I could show you the inside of it, but I haven't, so. <laughs> Ooh. Graceful. As you can see, big bird nest. Massive bird nest. With more and more evidence of the bull surfacing, I headed off to a different ground tower in search of answers that were a bit less, well, bull. And just in time too, by the looks of it. Our next stop is Tullaheron Church, which is just up the road from Kilhain Church which we covered in this video. Here's a fun fact for you while we're here. The reason Holy Mary is often depicted as wearing blue in old art is because blue was the most expensive pigment available back then. The blue colour linking heaven and earth and the divine and the mundane. So this round tower is Tullaheron Round Tower. Part of another monastery and it's here we're going to get more answers. And for once, we really do have the door to the round tower on the second floor. Now, I barely made the one and a half floor, so I don't think I'm going to make it up this second floor. Look, I recognize that I'm all hot and sweaty, but don't worry, I was stung by a wasp on the way over here, a kind stranger gave me antihistamines, and I'm going to plow on and get this video done. Don't say I'm not dedicated, ever. Here's a fact about every round tower. The door to the round tower always faces the west side of the church and it's with this information that if you had a round tower you'd be able to find the rooms of the church with relative ease. So let's get our trusty compass out and see if this is true. So with the door here, if we look down at my compass, we'll see in fact it is facing the west side of this church. Speaking of compasses, the windows on the outer side of the round tower will be always be facing the four cardinal directions. Good lord. Hello horses. Exactly. So, on this side we have the east facing window there. North, just slightly higher up. Yeah, that's there. And then around the other side, we have west and south somewhere up there. I think south might have fallen off because of the half missing dome of this round tower. Here's another fun fact for you. I find horses quite freaky. They're wonderful creatures, but uh, they have quite a bite. So I'm gonna see you lads later. Also at this round tower is something much more ancient than itself and oh my god we're going to have to cover this in another video. Own stones. After getting up close and personal with the organic horses I was starting to miss my own steed. So I headed off to the fourth round tower which is going to take me to the very north of Kilkenny. 
the weather was taking a turn for the worse. So I was slightly grateful for that as it meant wasps wouldn't be invading my jacket again. So Grange Ferta Monastery actually was attacked by Viking raiders. However, the heyday of the Vikings was several hundred years before the heyday of Round Towers. So, unfortunately, they weren't for defence. The eight-storey tall Round Tower is all that remains of the monastery. That was made at a different date, so it's not part of the same construction as this. This chapel attached to the Round Tower contains the tomb of John McGillipatrick, dressed in his knightly armour, and his wife is there too. The truth of what round towers are for was in the name, not that they were for round towers, but the name Oskelga, which is Kligchok, and Klig meaning the same as Glock means in Glockenspiel. Ding dong, who's there? Bell. Bell who? Believe it or not, I actually left a massive clue as to the true purpose of round towers right at the start of the video with that shot looking up into the bell tower of that random church I found. Now our last round tower is quite a maze to find, although it's a lot closer to my home. It's the one in Kilkenny's own, well, Kilkenny town. And you can find it on foot much easier than you can by vehicle. If you follow these twisting alleyways down the way, you see that church? It's around the other side. So, our final round tower is Kilkenny's own round tower. And round towers were used as bell towers. The word Oskelga, Kligchok, literally means bell house. Clig, bell, chock, house, just like glockenspiel means playing bells in German, so I'd imagine they have the same root word at some point. But there is one more round tower in Kilkenny that I want to show you. So, the secret sixth round tower of Kilkenny is in fact this round tower of Kilkenny draft. And I've seen a lot of pictures of poorly poured pints on Instagram. And those are on draft, but this one's from a can, and I'm going to show you how you can do it properly too. So first you get your pint glass. Now it's sacrilegious to do a pint of Kilkenny in a pint of Guinness glass, but we're just going to roll with it. Okay, next you open your can of Kilkenny. Next, glass of the can, turn it upside down, turn your frown upside down, and just slowly raise it out of the glass. A young man named Paul Carey taught me this secret trick. And then if we wait for that to settle, now this will work with any kind of draft that has a widget in the bottle or in the can. Don't do it with a Heineken, I did it once and it's just not a good uh, result. you've got a better looking head than insert attractive actor or actress of your choice. And just what you need after a long day of looking at round towers for no reason. So, there you have it, round towers, of which this is not one, but the ones we just visited were. They were round, they were towers, they had doors on the second floor, and some of them still stand today. Most of them are in Ireland, there's one or two in Scotland, and I think on the Isle of Man. But, thanks for watching today's video, I hope you'll like and subscribe and stay tuned for more because I always have new things on the way. Bye!